Yeah, this is the camper pod, well, travel camper pod MIDI L. Uh, just want to do a quick review on this because I know some people have had problems connecting them to vehicles. Um, so we'll just have a quick review, quick walk around. Um, if you're happy with the video, please like. If you find it useful, please like and share. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are. We've got our travel pod MIDI Air here. Um, one of the things I would say, which isn't actually supplied, but maybe something people are interested in, there's guy, there's holes here that will take some poles. Because um, I know myself when I'm go camping, I like parking out, uh, sitting out, enjoying the sun, but having a bit of shade. Um, so I, I recommend getting a couple of poles for that. Uh, as you can see, it's an inflatable one. Whoop. Uh, it inflates quite quickly. These are pretty robust, pretty solid, pretty well made, quick to put up. Um, my father put this one up himself today um, on his own, so it's pretty easy to put together. Uh, you've got the space for all your bits and pieces in the uh, sleeping area, which we open this up. Yeah, plenty of room, some more pockets inside, and you've got a bit of ventilation there, mosquito nets on the front, so uh, sleeping area is pretty good. Top's colour coded as well, so when you put it together it's not too complicated. Um, door zips up easy enough, there is a ground sheet, we just haven't put it in. And it's quick and, quick and simple to put together. Um, now I get to the interesting bit. Because one of the problems people are having is how to connect it to a vehicle. We've actually got these camper poles. Camper being the, the manufacturer, the same one that makes the tent. Uh, the awning, shall we say. Uh, they supply these clips, which aren't exactly... The, the best uh, as you can see that's it tightened up now I know some other people have thrown the lines over the top and then just connect it that way that doesn't do your good roof any good mind there is this one which goes with the the S system which uh, puts S brackets on here and they connect in with that that's a bit floppy from what we've seen so far and then there's this one uh, which is basically the pole runs long inside here all the way along and connects the rails just drops in there as you can see that's very loose it may be loose on purpose so that if somebody drives off um, it will come off rather than rip the, the, the tent apart but there's a little gap here the remains remains there but also this is a full transit by the way the problem you get is the clearance it's pretty tight against the door. Um, as you can see, it, the bracket's too close to it. You can't open the front door either. It's the same same problem. Um, not the best. So we may end up having something custom built to raise these up. Um, maybe another few inches to clear the door and where the door comes out. But also, so we, it's actually a bit more solid. Uh, if anybody else has got a better way of fixing it, please share. Because uh, I do think anybody who's bought these or other types may find it useful. Because um, at the moment, this one um, will find a solution. And I will share that if you're interested. But that's pretty much it. I mean, the tent itself, pretty good. The... Um, the area at the front here, you know, even moving your, leaving your shoes and little bits and pieces in here. There's plenty of room, sleeping areas there. Um, does the job. All right, thanks for watching.